Today we're going to find out if a 22 long rifle can go through an old truck door. And this is one of those older model doors that are more solid metal. So I think this one should be a little harder to penetrate than the newer doors. And we're going to use two different guns with two different types of ammo. First we'll try a short barreled 22 revolver with some Agia standard velocity rounds. Then a Ruger 1022 using Agia interceptors. So that way we can compare a really weak 22 with a really strong 22 and see if we get any difference between those. And here's our setup. I got one old truck door here. Then I have two half inch thick plywood boards back here and a bunch of bottles set up all over. Then I have another truck door in the back there. And then I put this center console thing in the center here. So we're gonna shoot through this first door here and see what kind of damage we can get on the bottles and wood if we even get any penetration through the door. All right, first up is the revolver with the Agia standard velocity round. Now let's try the 1022 with the Gia interceptors. Okay, so we shot it three times with the handgun using the standard velocity rounds and six times with the rifle using the Agia interceptors. Our handgun entries were here, here, and right here. So one, two, three. And then our six rifle entries were the other ones. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And wow, those results were a lot more impressive than I expected. I was kind of uncertain if any of them would even make it through the door, but actually every single shot from the rifle went straight through, and one shot from the handgun went through. This is where our one handgun shot exited, and our other six exits are here, 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 and right here. And actually the only reason this shot from the handgun went through both sides is because it only went through the first layer of metal because there's little hollow portions on the second side and it just happened to miss that second layer of metal. If we look at our other door over here we can see exactly what I'm talking about. See the little open spaces? That one shot from the handgun went through right here and missed the second layer of metal. A couple of the shots from the rifle also missed the second layer of metal but a lot of them hit it too, and they still went right through it. So that tells us that the low velocity 22 round will only go through the first layer of metal, but the rifle, even if it hits both sides of the metal, is still going through regardless. Now let's take a look at what it did behind the door. We got an entry in our half inch plywood board right here, and you can also see little fragments. There's a little fragment right there next to the hole, and more fragment damage down here. And that doesn't look like a perfect circular entry, so either the bullet was breaking into pieces or tumbling. But it still went straight through that board and then straight through the bottle behind it. According to other videos that I've watched, they say the old army standard is that if a projectile can penetrate a half inch plywood board, it can cause lethal damage. Or it still has a lethal amount of energy. And even after going through that door, it went straight through the board and then straight through the bottle behind it. You can even see a piece of wood floating in the bottle there. It entered right there and cracked open the whole front of the bottle. There's also lead fragments in the bottom of the bottle and it exited right there. After going through the bottle, it looks like it then bounced off our second door right here and just put a tiny little dent. And it looks like the shot that went through that board and bottle is the one that exited right here. So it came out the door right there and actually, when we take a look in there, it's probably hard to see in the camera. 
that one missed the second layer of metal so that kind of explains why it still had such impressive performance behind the door then we had a second exit right here and that one actually went through both layers of metal and it should have hit the board here but i can't really find anything except for these which look like little fragment holes it actually went through the bottom of the thing that holds the window i don't know if you can see it down there at all but that explains why it didn't do much to our wood. Not only did it hit our second layer of metal, it also went through the metal thing that holds the window. So it had to go through even more material in the door than the other shots. Then we had another exit right here from the rifle. And this shot actually went through both layers of the metal as well. After exiting right here, it actually hit our board that I was using as a stand right here. So it entered into our board right there and just blew out a huge chunk from the bottom so it penetrated about that deep probably like almost two inches so it still did quite a bit of damage after going through both layers of the metal and all that stuff on the back it still blew out a chunk like this much from the bottom of this board and then another shot from our rifle came out right here and then it entered our center console right here but let's go ahead and look inside it just to make sure Oh, look at that. Nope, it went through. There's the bullet laying right here in the bottom. So that's a 22 Agia Interceptor fired from a Ruger 10-22. And then it went through the first layer of the center console right here. That's the exit. And then it just left a little gray mark on the other side there. And the bullet was just laying in the bottom like we already saw. And that's some pretty thick, solid plastic. And then we had another exit from the rifle right here. And that one actually went through both layers of the metal as well. And then after that, it hit this bottle right here. Went out the back of it right there. And it looks like we have a little lead fragment in the bottom. Yeah, or a piece of the door. Can't really tell. I think that's a piece of the door. And then it went into our wood right here and straight out the back right there. And after going through that wood, I think it hit our second door right here and just put this little dent. So it hardly did anything to our second door, just a tiny little dent. But in my opinion, that's still really impressive for a 22 long rifle. That shot went through both layers of the metal on the first door, straight through the bottle then straight out the back of our half inch thick plywood board. And then we had one last exit from the rifle right here. And you can already tell that one did go through both layers of the metal. You can see the metal sticking out of the exit hole right there. So that one hit both layers of metal, went straight through. And then it hit our half inch thick plywood board right here. And just like the other shots, straight out the back. Then after going through that plywood board, it hit our other door right here and actually went through that first layer of metal and then put a dent on the other side. You can see right here on the other side, that's the dent from that Agia Interceptor right there. I am just completely impressed from the results of this test. It went through both layers of the metal on the first door, straight through our half inch thick plywood board and then threw one layer of metal on this door and put a pretty big dent on the other layer. It seems like our jugs of water slowed the rounds down quite a bit because our other round that did go through both layers of metal on the first door but then hit the bottle before the board, it only put a little dent on the door here. Then we had one last exit right here but that was actually from our pistol round that missed the second layer of metal. Kind of hard to see with all those leaves, but there was an opening in the second layer right there. So it just missed our second layer of metal. That's why it was able to exit. The other two pistol rounds didn't exit because they hit the second layer of metal. So they didn't have nearly as much penetration as that Agia Interceptor. So even though the pistol round only went through one layer of metal on the first door and hit nothing in between, it still only put a dent on the first layer of our second door. And then we just have a couple bullets laying down here on the ground. They probably bounced off the second door. So that's all that we were able to recover. Three Agia Interceptors, and then one of the standard velocity rounds from the pistol right there. 
And one last thing to note, there's all this um, fabric stuff here laying on this board, which came out of the exits on our first door because there's all that fabric stuff in there. But you can see right there a bunch hanging out of the holes. But anyways, that's all for the 22 long rifle versus truck door test. Like I said, I'm just amazed with these results. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But anyways, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.